Today I'm going to share with you my routine how I like to get ready for a day when I know it's going to be busy or when we celebrate something so I would like to just stay away from housework and I'm going to share with you how I get ready for that and get ahead of the time with things. I have a lot of things on my list for the next couple of days we are, because we are getting ready for my younger son's birthday so I like to prepare ahead of the time and get things ready so I can relax on the day when we celebrate. I bought this basket at the second hand store so I have to clean it. Me trying to decide which tub I should use to clean <laughs> this basket and I decided I'm going to use the one that the kids using because it doesn't have a glass door so I'm going to have an easier access. going to break it down the tasks so I'm going to clean and focusing mainly on cleaning for today in the house so I can get this out of the way and just getting as much done as possible on the device so that way the following day I can only focus on the food I can make some cake and on the third day I can just celebrate all day we're gonna jump into the car with my son and we're just gonna drive wherever he wants to go and also the following day it's nice to have a break just cleaning up all the mess after the birthday so today I'm going to clean a little bit more but in return I'm going to spend a few days at more ease refilling the soap dispenser and the toilet papers Basically, I'm just running back and forth in the house, doing a little bit here, a little bit there. Since I'm doing the deeper cleaning in this bathroom today, the day when the birds is going to be it's gonna be just a very quick just wiping of the sink area and just putting out fresh towels when i clean the tub and the sink most of the time i like to use a soft cloth with some dish soap that i mixed with some vinegar but for that area where the drain is I need to use a brush
a quick dusting on the surfaces. Wiping down the toilet surface with some water and vinegar make sure it's a 50% of water and 50% of vinegar. We are still in the process of remodeling this house but there are some areas where we have some baseboards which I love so much but I haven't realized how much I need to dust them <laughs> because most of the time we were without baseboards like in our previous home because the whole remodeling process as we're living in the house is just really extends for a longer time. This is one of the soap that we made with my friend and I like to use this sack that I can put the soap in so it can dry and it's not slippery as we use it and each family member has a different one. Folding away all the clothes, the shirts and the pants. The kids are pinching in here and there but most of the time they are doing the online learning. The next step for this day is to prepare a lunch or slash dinner that I'm going to have a big batch so even we can eat some for tomorrow so that way that will be out of the way as well to think about what to eat for lunch while I'm going to prepare for the birthday and making the cakes and I pick a recipe that is like kind of like a casserole style 
It just I throw everything all together, meat, vegetables and rice, so it will be easy to warm it up. Somebody was asking me where do we buy the spices and most of the time I like to buy them at natural grocers because they are organic and they have a great price. But for the paprika that is something that we ordered, I think it's throughout eBay, that's where my husband bought it but that is from Hungary. checking my list and if something pops into my mind that I want to get done I just add to the list I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give up mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day it is getting close to the lunch time so now I'm just going to take out everything from the basket and going to finish the folding a little bit later after lunch. My kids and I just into Mr. Bean lately. <laughs> we are having some fun to watching while we have lunch. Slowly finishing up all the laundry related tasks so I can wrap up this part of the housework for today. I don't do a lot of ironing but I like to iron sometimes the kitchen towels and the pillowcases and the napkins. Jordi at home a little bit earlier so he can take the kids to their sports class and now here comes the fun part <laughs> I can get ready and brainstorming um, something for the birthday we don't over complicate things I'm trying to focus on the food so not as much of a decoration going on and the present I bought them a few months ago because I know what, what my son won so it was easy and I wrapped it up so that was out of the way as well.
vacuum well the living room everywhere just in case if I'm not gonna be able to get back to it I know it won't be in a such a terrible shape and um, I like to clean right before people are coming over but just mainly on the most used areas like the entryway and in the living room a little bit and under the dining table that's something that always gets dirty very fast to freshen up the couch I'm going to use some lavenders that I picked last year I'm not going to use the baking soda because that could ruin the vacuum cleaners that has a canister so I want to be careful about that and the lavender works just fine It's been years I've been buying from Costco all my dish soap they had a biodegradable one they worked amazing but lately they were out of it I'm talking about lately like for six months <laughs> so I tried different types I ordered some online they didn't foam as much as I wanted to and also they ruined the soap dispenser that I have so I'm going to try and give a shot dishwashing soaps it's in the form of like a soap bar and I have to use brush with that so the smell is amazing I never smelled anything like this this is incredibly fresh clean crispy smell scent I really love this the brush what I ordered I think is just too strong and it's a very small head the one that I bought from IKEA works perfect but um, I still have to figure out which one to use but the soap has been very nice I just need to find the correct brush and I of course I have the brush that I've been using for years you know the ones that it has a round shape so those are great for um, items that are easy to clean but for scrubbing I am trying these little ones now One of the reason I want to use brush because it holds less bacteria, it can dry faster. A very fast breakfast making and serving it with some raw veggies going through on the refrigerator what we have to eat right now wiping down the shelves Freezing extra salsa into silicone molds so it will be easier to use. There are a few things that I can prepare ahead of the time. One of them is peeling the vegetables, the other is cooking all the ingredients and prepping them and cut them, whatever I'm going to use the next day. can save a lot of time the next day by blanching the vegetables soaking the grapes in apple cider vinegar and then rinse it
soaking banana peels in water for 48 hours and I'm going to use it as a fertilizer for my indoor plants. Chopping up all the vegetables for tomorrow. My older one is going to make a sushi for my younger one's birthday and I'm prepping the vegetable for him. So we can finish in a reasonable time. <laughs> dishwashing soap but the brushes I still have to figure out which one works best Now comes the fun part, I can start to make the cakes. On the everyday basis when I bake I like to use glassware but for the birthday I'm gonna do something more unique so I like to try different shapes with silicone molds Just a quick clean up in the dining room so I can start to decorate a little bit. Giving a last cleanup for the floors. Wrapping up things in the kitchen by cleaning the floor. A 
couple of fresh branches into the waves <laughs> and I have a few chicken shaped balloons that I wanna blow some air in there Max loves chickens <laughs> So this is the time when I'm letting go of everything, whatever left on the list is just going to stay there <laughs> and I'm just going to take a rest. And it doesn't matter if I missed things from my list, we're still going to have a great time tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Bye!